Um, we'll call the uh, Board of Commissioners meeting of March 10th, 2023 to order, and it is, sir? 907. 907. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Recording in progress. Pledge of allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We have a lot to get through in a short time, don't we? Sorry. Um, media questions? Who's Pearl and Frank? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I believe that some people from Hales might be joining for the delegation, so, but I'm not sure who this is. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't see anything. I mean, no hands. Yes, sir? No. Nope. Madam Chair, can we have a quick um, update on the annual report and the audit, please? The audit... Um, they're supposed to be working on a draft. I asked Bonnie, she does not have that yet. The annual report will be up here this afternoon. Thank you. You can have a copy. Thank you. I thought I would present it to the delegation. Okay. Any other questions for me? For you? Okay. Um, approval of the minutes of March 2nd. You're looking for. Yeah. You're looking for okay. Oh, nice. You're putting the accounts payable and stuff on there now. Good. Thank you. You're Madam Chair, point of information. Yes, sir. Your non public session. Mm -hmm. uh, under D. Mm hmm. Uh, was not officially sealed. I just want to make sure it says that in the minutes. I haven't got that far yet. Okay, okay. where are we? It says it was sealed. Okay. Well, it was not sealed. You can check the video later if you want. And I didn't catch it when I was in there. Which one? I just see that. It says the Ford Reconvener voted to seal the minutes. Yeah. No, it says it did not seal the minutes. Where? The board reconvened and did not seal the minutes. That's okay. correct. You didn't seal did the minutes seal. for the first one, but the second one I think is what he's talking about under D. Okay. I put that you sealed. It must I must have curved differently, okay. but So the one under B was the hiring? Right? Yeah, so that one's fine. We made the announcement. The one under D, we sealed. No? No. You Motion didn't. to seal the minutes. There, there was no second. There was no second by the chair or anybody else. And uh, there was no vote. Okay. And you only have 72 hours after the meeting to seal. To be off with us, I don't even remember what. Mm -hmm. Was that the one we just... If you don't vote to we seal... We never adjourned the meeting, though, last week. If you don't vote to seal the minutes, the public can request them within 72 hours. I've had no request for that. So if you'd like to seal them now... Motion to seal the minutes. Mm -hmm. okay. Madam Chair, you can't seal after twenty uh, after 72 hours. Mm -hmm. It must be left open. We have open. a conflict. I'd have to okay. look up well, the Okay. Then let's RFA. just table it for a few minutes until Melissa can look up the actual... Madam Chair, can I make another yes. uh, addition or correction? Uh, it, it the minutes mislabel me as the chairman in the oh. in the first Hales motion, and okay. I'd just like to clarify that I'm the clerk and not the chairperson. Typo there. Yep, yeah. just a typo. But... Yep. Um, okay. Oh. It's, that's, yeah. it, it was me that did yeah. it, but it should say, commission. yeah, it should say commission. Okay. It's a small. All right, so we'll wait okay. until... No, it's a small... <laughs> okay. okay, so 
wait for that. On the manifest accounts payable for March 1st was $410,061.72. Payroll for March 3rd was $231,753.21. Um, I have nothing from Hales this week, um, except for um, Maureen um, Blanchett. Um, had, I know she called Melissa and she called me. They're very anxious to get a hold of you, Matthew, because they don't know what's happening. Well, I just spoke to her. Okay. I just spent an hour on the phone with her. Today? Well, half hour, yeah. Oh, okay, because I talked to her. <laughs> yesterday, and I said, I'll mention it to him. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So that's taken care of. Other than that. Uh, finance report. I don't think that Bonnie is coming up for that. Um, she would like to have a non-public with you at some point this morning. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, what time is um, the original D's coming up? Is she going to do our bid thing, or...? So yeah. last last week I have in the minutes that she recommended the cot systems. Yep. And then I have a, a motion that passed to allow her to take the money for it out of the equipment account. But I don't have a motion passed for you to award the bid to cot systems based on the register's recommendation. Oh. Okay. Would you like to make that motion with you so we can take that down? Which motion? Do you <laughs> I'll make it, Madam Chair. Okay. <laughs> I make a motion, Madam Chair, to. Uh, officially accept the registrar's recommendation that we go with COT services for the opening of the registry bids for bind, book binders that was discussed at last week's meeting. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, Thank so you. that's done. Um, let's go into uh, a pharmacy service contract. Do you bringing that over? We have to sign that? I thought we already did that. No, we're waiting. They hadn't signed Oh, they hadn't chair. signed it. So we're yep. just waiting for the, the people to sign first. I do, do have a signed copy that I just sent to the printer downstairs. So okay. we do have it signed from the vendor. Okay. Um, and that would be Health Direct. Okay. Northern Human Service Contract. Or a Department of Corrections. We don't have a copy of that, do we? Um, you should have it in your packet. No? I sent it out last time as well. I know it was late last time. Oh, is that what this one is? Those are the rules. No, that's a public comment. So the difference like between the Carroll County Department of Corrections and Northern. The very last thing. Okay. If, it, if your packet's set up the same. Yep. So are the, is Sean, um, no, Sean's not here today. It's, Lieutenant King, can you over to talk about this? If you'd or? like him to come over and talk about it, it's it's basically a renewal of a contract that we've had for a few years now. But I can get okay. him over here if you'd like. Did you would you rather have him come over and discuss it, or do you just want to read it? Can you come over? Sure, okay. I will okay. get him over here. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah. And I do see, um, Matthew, that Melissa has been so kind to... <laughs> I have two copies. Oh. Was okay. I supposed to get two copies? One of them might be mine, the signature one. <clears throat> they both have signatures. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my, the question I would have with Sean is, it, this isn't exclusive, is it? Or is it? It's just... They're available to do this work. Right. I will have Lieutenant King come over. Yep. Okay. I'm texting him now. My understanding was it was exclusive. Okay. okay. But that's the. That's the
eight hours a week. That's pretty good. While we're waiting for him, do you guys um, uh, did you get a copy of the new um, opioid settlement thing that we're? I only uh, oh, printed, printed one. One for me. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, this is a new suit or another continuing suit um, that I would recommend that we be part of. Who's it against? It is against, well, it's, here, I'll let you read it, but okay. this goes into its settlements. It's Teva, Allegrin, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, all these people that... It's another settlement. Yeah, okay. another settlement, yeah. Um, Distributors. Yep. So, um, we just have to have a vote to go ahead and do this, and to um, either have Bonnie or myself sign whoever you prefer. I have no problem with Bonnie signing. Have the other counties already signed? Most of them, I believe. Yes. So, you know, we got quite a bit the first time, so. Do you need a motion now? Or? Well, you can look at it. Mm -hmm. It has to be in by April For something. Sure. Do you mind signing that? I don't think it looks good if we sign our own checks. They're out of order. Sorry to the finance office. <laughs> if they want me to come down, put them in order the later. Thing is coming over. We can um, uh, discuss. Money be distributed the same way? Yes, I believe so. so the bulk goes to the state? Yeah. And then the county share the 15%? Yeah. And the chair, you missed a check mark. Oh, because like it was a, no, because it was a line. This, the health trust. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought he just. You did didn't it. do yours, yeah, but that's. Sorry, correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Would Commissioner Platch like to put his initials in that box? I don't chair. Yes. Would you like to put your initials in that little box right there? There we go. Oh, they're going to kill me. I'm messing with this page. Good morning. Good morning. We would like to hear from you about the um, agreement between the House of Corrections and Northern Human Services, if you would like to speak on that. Sure. Okay. Um, Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm running okay. upstairs. You don't have to run anywhere. Take a second. <laughs> Would you please tell the general public who you are? And sure. I'm Lieutenant King from the House of Corrections. I'm in place of the rest of the admin team because they're all out doing various things for the day. So I'm it. Um, That's fine. We're happy to have you. <laughs> appreciate it. So nothing's changed on the contracts. Just renewal for it. It's paid for by the grant. Um, so it's 100% grant money. Mary is our in-house three-day-a-week person. Um, does all of our mental health stuff. Um, teaches uh, one of our program classes currently as well. She uh, works in conjunction with Prime Care, and we're trying to get uh, mental health certified as well. So uh, through the National Mental Health NCHC, I think. So. She's an integral part of it, and she's our person that we turn to, so we don't have to, you know, go with another outside source or have to bring them to an appointment or IEA stuff. All that stuff can be done in house, three days a week. Okay. Questions? Uh, do uh, is the twenty-eight hours enough time? 
Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, all the needs are being met. They are. Uh, you know, the only time that it kind of gets hung up is if somebody comes in uh, over the weekend, they get to wait till Monday. Um, but, yeah, it gets then, done. Because nothing is a, obviously if it's an emergent situation, then we would bring them to the hospital for a mental health evaluation or call Northern Human Services on one of the off days and have one of them, um, you know, people in the office either come to the jail or do it over video. So it is available mm -hmm. the seven, well, five days a week, I would say, okay. if need be. Do they continue after re-entry into the population? Uh, that I don't know. I just, I, it has nothing to do with some the I, corrections. That's that's a handoff, and we're no longer involved. Right. Correct. Okay. I know. I I have heard conversation that some sometimes Mary does see them as but that's patients on that side. Correct. We don't. Right. The only service we're paying okay. for. Well, actually, the grant is paying for. Yeah. Next year is obviously going to be a different story. When the grant runs out, we'll have to budget for it. But, but the grant pays for when they're here. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, also, should we go ahead and do I have make a motion on this? Or? Yeah. Who needs this? Do you need authorization? I guess we all sign. Yeah. Motion to approve the letter agreement between Carroll County Department of Corrections and Northern Human Services to provide for mental health services under the by the grant. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Is any of these okay? I think you have a, a two-pager, right? Commissioner Platch has a, has an extra one. Okay. You want to sign that one? Yep. Yep. I guess Sean is going to have to sign. Yep. And also, while you're here. Yeah. Okay. I know that you're aware of the letter that we received for Representative McConkie. Yep. And um, so, would you like to address the matter of visitation? Sure. Okay. What your rules and regulations are at this point in time? Yep. So right now we do video video visitation. Um, <clears throat> for those that don't know what that is, uh, it's a provided by Securus. Securus is our company that provides um, services for all of our phone calls. Uh, and videos and um, I guess that's it, phone calls and videos. Um, it's, it's a monitored thing. We have access to monitor just like we do on the phone calls. It's a paid for service by the visitor so someone can sign up online and then we have, uh, for, I, don't, I don't know what the fee is but there is a fee. And then in the unit, each housing unit, there is a literally a video screen also has a handset that the inmate sits in front of um, the we also have a video screen that if people do not want to pay on the outside they can come to the jail and sit in our old person in person visitation room with the same console and talk to the inmate in the unit over the video so it can be for free they can also sign up on their account from outside to do that as well. Um, but most people do it because of people that live far away. It's way easier to pay the whatever it is, five bucks to talk to their loved one or friend or whatever, um, rather than driving all the way up here to save a couple bucks. But if you do live locally, you're more than welcome to sign up online and come in. So the video visit is, uh, it, it cuts down on, well, actually opens it up to more visits for the inmates because they can do it all day long. Um, there's only a certain time during the day when they're locked in for, uh, for our MAT program a couple hours down the middle of the day from uh, typically 11.30 to 2. Outside of that, up until 11 o'clock at night, they can schedule visits through the video visit system. Um, and then they can, they can start as early as... Uh, I think we do it at 8.30 because that's when we open up the day rooms in the morning after breakfast and stuff. So they have a number of hours so that they can utilize the system at their, obviously there's a schedule for the terminal itself so the only limitation is if somebody else was using it. Our main day room that holds all our men, which is our biggest population, has two of them. Um, okay. The other ones each have, uh, actually the, 
the main woman's has two as well, and then the other ones each have one. Um, so the reason we did it is A, it opens up more visitation. B, originally it was from <clears throat> COVID lockdown because we weren't allowing anybody in there. But since COVID is pretty much limited, you know, ceased to exist really. I mean, not that we, we just recently had a breakout a couple months ago, but for the most part, COVID's not an issue. All the county jails have gone to the video visits. Uh, I'm not sure about the state prison. They're their own issue. Um, but it cuts down on security and safety for us because we don't have to have strangers coming in. We don't have to have the inmates coming out to visitations and you know, possibly there's somebody, another inmate passing in the hall coming back from medical and they can get in an altercation. You know, it gives less opportunity for those types of things to happen. Um, obviously, person to person visits where there was contact visits haven't happened in many years. Even when we had in-person visits, this was still separated by glass. So obviously that still counts down. You know, contraband can't be passed inside of that visitation room if an inmate brings something to the visit, leaves something there, and the next guy comes in for a visit, he takes it, next woman, next whoever. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's cut down on staffing. A, as you all know, we're still down eight people. So we used to have to have a uh, officer accompany them to the visit, and watch them on the visit. Um, so, to me, it's a good thing. I know that there's some contention with the particular person that is writing the letter about not being able to personally come in. They can still personally come in. They just can't look at them through the glass. Um, they still got to talk to them on the video screen. So, do you have many complaints about that? I don't have any complaints about it. No. The inmates love it because yeah, as long they as they have the money, to. they yeah. can visit their people all day, every day if they want to, as long as the schedule of the machine mm. fits it. Uh, and they also have tablets. They can't do the video visits from the tablet, obviously, because we want to watch them while they're on the visit. You know, the, our, our day room officer still has physical sight of them when they're on the visit. But they can make phone calls at all all hours from their tablet in their cells wherever they want. Mm -hmm. So um, the communication aspect in jail has gotten, you know, since COVID has really improved um, initially as a result of COVID, but like the courts and everything else, the video stuff has kind of hung on and it's made it better overall. So um, we like it, the inmates like it, and I think it's a benefit to everybody, especially you know, if you have a loved one that's in Florida or Massachusetts or mm -hmm. even southern New Hampshire, all it is is a quote-unquote a phone call away. So. Well, thank you very much for your explanation. Sure. And I'm sure that if uh, Representative McConkie has any more questions. Yeah, he can voice. personally meet with us at any time he wants. Meet with you. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Sure. Can, could yes. I ask a question? You might. So is there a possibility to schedule an uh, in-person visit through the glass if somebody wants to do that? The, no, not as of right now, the public. The only time they have it is with an attorney because we have to allow it. Um, and, and we actually... through the glass as well? Or are those in-person? Anyway? The attorney visits are allowed to be contact visits okay. because of passing of paperwork and discovery and okay. things like that. However, obviously, yes, they're private, and obviously the inmate and attorney are subject to search before and after the visits. So okay. um, that's the only in-person we do because we have to allow it. But um, that's a different situation. Correct, yeah. And they, of course, attorney phone calls. We have a separate attorney call line that's not recorded and it's provided for free. There is no cost to that. Okay. Was... okay. Any questions? I don't have any no comments. No. No. Okay. Thank you, Lieutenant, for coming over. Cool. All right. Oh, I, had, I have a different question. Oh. Any progress on the vehicle? Uh, Sean told me that the other one didn't work out. That somebody else bought it. So. Yeah, I think the plan right now is just to kind of wait till April first and see when the funds are opened up. And I think there were still. If that one up in West Osby that they were looking at is available, I think that's kind of what their target was. Unless between now and then something else becomes available. But um, and the, the superintendent said something about the uh, line transfer thing. 
does that have to go through you guys with me here first before this afternoon? Well, um, I do have some line item transfers oh, that were sorry. just brought up. Um, if you have one from the jail, yeah, yeah just take a look at this really stay. That would help. Yeah. Um, Not to so jump the gun, but... Thank you. Well, no, it's better than having to call you oh, back again. Oh, you want to come back, yeah. It's a packet for each of the commissioners. Yeah. Yeah. I know. These are full of line. I'm sure there's many at the end of the year, all the adjustments oh, that have to be done. Okay. So we have one from just about every department, actually. Yep, I see that. Um, well, so you might have to go long letter. through and see. Um, yeah. Right. Thanks, yeah. Melissa. <laughs> Would you like to refer to mine while they're yeah, sure, talking? I, so that's I one of the them. Door. I have it all on my desk. But. So that's for 2022, and this is uh, 2023. So right now yeah, you'll be looking the, for that one. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. That's I thought the, we didn't have much to do today. Yeah. Okay, use corrections. Use corrections. Okay. Okay, so I don't think I understand this one. I don't understand that one either. I was just going to say the same thing. Which one? The 791? Or no, the 60,000? Yeah. Because it shows that there's none available. So how are you getting 60,000 out of it? Or is that just a Other cycle? X's? Yeah. Um, let me, I think it's just the way that it printed from Bonnie's screen. I okay. can give you the number to put in there. It's about yeah, so my $1.5 million dollars in the salary line because that's a 2023 transfer. So we're pro we'd like to process a transfer request to delegation, although the chair may choose instead to reopen the jail budget and do this adjustment because the budget hasn't been finalized yet. Okay, so how much is available in there? One point three, you said. Would you mind reading that? Where I wrote it with pen on the top. Can you Good see? Good night. Probably Can you see not. That? Probably not. I have my glasses on. One point five eight, eight nine, nine two three six point three three. <laughs> Would you like to repeat that? <laughs> I know I wrote so small. Okay, uh, one million five hundred eighty nine thousand two hundred thirty six dollars and thirty three cents. Okay, that makes a little Our bit more sense. Boxes are so like, tiny. Yeah. I I, I'm not sure I still understand it. So we're taking $60,000 from the salary line and putting it into the overtime line? Correct. Yeah, so my understanding year? yeah, my understanding of the situation, uh, Commissioner, is that the the way the budget went through, it went through with $25,000 in it for overtime. We've already burned up 40% of that money. Um, and I know through, I don't know how the conversations came about, but they wanted to instead of doing an official line transfer, is just reopen the budget this afternoon with the delegation, put the money in there out of that officer line to cover it, because we still haven't, we're still at right. eight down, so we're yeah, going to need it. We're oh, averaging, okay. yeah. a tw or at right now, without people calling in sick, we're burning 12 hours of overtime a week. And when people call in sick, yeah, it's even obviously more. it's milk. Okay. So yeah, yeah. until we get those yeah. positions. Was it, approved by the it was. It was, yeah. Yeah, so it hasn't gone in yet, so they can change it. Yeah. Why don't they just change it? So either the I think that's what they wanted to do, yeah. but I think they want to run way. it by you guys first. Okay. We don't need to do a, a transfer. We just they just need to change the budget. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm supposed to meet with them this afternoon too, so we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to give you more notice. Why don't we, <laughs> why don't we wait until after their meeting? And, However, they want to do it. Okay, well, we'll still, still be meeting on the 20th? Correct. Okay. Also, yes. So mm -hmm. do, it, do it kind of thing. Well, we have the first one we have to do. Because that probably won't be. Was that from last year? 
The other one is from 2022, right, when Bonnie was going through and yeah. doing the year-end cleanup and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, I think there was an issue with funds not being encumbered, or we thought they were and they weren't, or vice versa. And then we had the garage, uh, garage door repair yep. that came out of that. And then it just ended up short. It's 791 Yeah. So the jail received billings that the jail normally was not responsible for, such as waste management. Correct, and that was attached. Or and those were paid out of maintenance? That's my understanding, yes. That one was self-explanatory. Yeah. I'll wait a motion. So I'd make a motion to approve my item transfer request. Yeah. Number 2022-52. Yeah. 52. 52. 52. 52. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. In the amount of taking $791 from line 100.4230.061.000. Putting it into the same line. What? No, the next line is 8 1. Huh? Okay. Yeah. That's the same number. No, it's an <laughs> That's an 8, not a 6? Yeah, that's an 8. Got any new glasses? <laughs> yeah, his number is an 8 1. Okay. <laughs> so taking it from the electricity line into maintenance due to unexpected maintenance costs. I guess that's my motion. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 I have to wait for the second because sometimes <laughs> I cut them off. That's an eight, huh? <laughs> I think that's all I had on my list. Okay. Thank you. We'll see, see you this, this afternoon. afternoon. Won't see me, so have a nice weekend. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> I hope it's nice. I've got a lot of outside work to do before the snow manager. Mm -hmm. oh, God. You have to sign that message? Oh, yeah, it's an eight. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what Is that I a say magnifying there? glass you just came out here? Say yeah. again? Is that a magnifying glass? Yeah. This is the one you need to sign. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It helps me see. I can see. Did we sign? We did this one, right? Human services? Yes. That's true. We're not doing the other one, right? Yeah. We're waiting on the minutes. Do you have anything on the minutes, Melissa? Uh, yes, um, I actually printed off a section. Okay. And Karen went to grab it off the oh, okay. copier so you could read it. I don't it. think our copier is doing a good job. That. It's just really blurry, and that eight and six look way too much. <laughs> we need a better copy. I'm going to copy it. Okay, we have two copies of the Health Direct contract for the pharmacy service, and I didn't know if you wanted to go after that. Oh, because we just have to sign it. Do you do recommend that? Should we so approve the opioid settlement first? Oh, sorry. Or what do you think? Should I look at it before you Why don't we ask do to approve it? Oh. I just don't want it to fall through the cracks. The pharmacy thing, did you want to look at that? Well, I think we've that. already looked at this. We did, yeah. I think we already approved. Yeah, we just have to vote to okay. approve it. Yeah. That hasn't changed. Right. We did. I think I thought we voted to approve it, but it wasn't signed. 
Right, it wasn't signed by them. So, so do we you want a new vote just to clean it up because we're can. now going to sign, or do you want to just sign? Let's we'll go ahead and approve it. Just, approve it. just in case. It. Yep. Thank you. Do you want me to make the motion, Madam Chair? Please. please. Madam Chair, I make a motion that we sign the Health Direct Pharmacy Services Agreement contract that was recommended by our nursing home administrator, Deidre Brown, in regards to uh, RFP that went out for bids for pharmacy services over at the <coughs> Mountain View Nursing Home. It's a, it's a term um, between us and Health Direct that will run from It's effective from the date of signing to uh, on or about April 1st, 2023, and then for three years, and it looks like there's a one-year renewal if we wanted for an optional renewal for a total of four years if, if it wanted to renew for that. I'll second it. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Maybe which one needs to be, what, a different one? Did we authorize D to sign, or am I supposed to sign? I'm not sure if it's printed on there, if it's just a blank line. It just says authorized representative. It's your choice, then I would. Should we just um, vote to let D sign this? Or should I sign it? What do you prefer? Okay. Why don't you sign it? Okay. Would you like to make that motion? Motion to authorize the uh, chair to sign the agreement. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Do you recall what it was about? Uh, D, so that would be real estate, the OCC. Oh, I'm fine with that just being released. Just keep it vague? Yeah. I mean, the, the minutes are already vague. You know, yeah. They don't go into a whole lot of detail because there wasn't any. But I think that's fine. Okay. okay. Did, Did we watch copies? the tape to confirm? Do you want a copy? I haven't, but I... Okay. 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 Well, that's good to know. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. At least there wasn't anything to. I mean, it does say that we can't do it, so we could always consult council on it. The, the, the Association of Counties has taken the position we can't do it even after 72 hours. So I just wonder if this is the one to fight about. That's yeah. the only reason I asked. Not remembering what the session was about. Yeah, I couldn't either. I, was um, like, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. This is one where I would plant my flag to determine that. But I thought we I'll go either. Meeting with Tom. 
I'll go either way. You would that way. That's a non. But that's a non meeting. That's a non meeting. That's not a non meeting. We don't have to pass that in our minutes. It's a non meeting. No minutes are required. Yeah. I'd look to that, Madam Chair. I'm ready when you are. Okay. What did you say? I'm ready when you are on that. <laughs> I'm, I've looked at I've got a chance to review. Okay. I'm good on that. Right. So we're going to turn these up You can take the checks. Yeah. Okay. We've been fully executed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So do you want a motion on Yes. This? Is, are you going to sign it? Yes, I will. Um, I'll sign the other one. Motion to approve the new National Opioids Settlement with Teva, Allergen, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, well, and Walmart, and authorize our chair to execute the document. Second. Oh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Do you want to go through all Would these now? Would you like to do the transfers? Okay. The land yeah. transfers? Or? Yeah. We, have, we just have this one group, right? Oh, what time is it? Oh, that's right. 9.49. Oh, I need to uh, take a recess. Okay. But you can, you guys can continue with that. Do you want to, um, did you, is there something that you, you want us to wait on the transfers? We can do no, other stuff. So okay. I'm happy to wait. So we, whatever you guys want to do, I'll be 10 minutes. Okay, Max. Go ahead. How do we take our, what do they call it, recess? Mm -hmm. Would that be okay? Yep, it does. You guys don't need to recess on my account. I just need to make a quick point. I can use a recess. <laughs> you can always use a recess. <laughs> How about okay. you? It is, what is it, 9.50? Yes. I'm going to go into a 10-minute recess. Time is 9.50. Coming out of recess, going back into our meeting, and it is um, 5 after 10. Okay. The first one, Commissioner Platt, we have... It looks like it's from our county attorney. Oh, it's a long order. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, county attorney. I have... That's what was on top. Yep. Is that the wrong one? Nope. I was just um, It doesn't have a number yet either. But as part of our year end close and final adjustments for items that are out of the department's control, adjustments for accruals of payroll taxes, benefits and expenses, as well as inventory and prepaid items that might have been need. Line item transfers for the specific line items attached. I know. Oh. It's because $75 for one. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. To raise a food by delegation. Well, Somebody's salary. Does the delegation set people's salary or do we? No, they just. They don't set the salary, do they? They have to approve. 
No, they set the yeah. budget in the budget. Amount. They yeah. don't determine mm -hmm. what the salary is. Yeah. We, we determine somebody's salary, right? I just want to make sure we're doing it. Right? Well, we don't. We don't have any... Yeah. We can't spend money that isn't budgeted. Right. But the delegation has no control over somebody's salary except for an elected official. Right. Right? So we have the authority to change somebody's salary, which mm -hmm. is what we're being asked to do. Yeah. I'm just making sure we have the authority to do it. Do you have a number for this one? No, well, I don't want to do it if it's illegal, but the delegation doesn't set people's salaries. We do. That's correct, right? Okay. So the number for, so there's the $175 transfer request is number 42. Okay. The salary one is 53. 53? So 42 and 53. So, I'll make a motion. Okay. Go ahead. Would you like me to? Yeah, go ahead. Motion to approve line item transfer request number 2022-42, submitted by the county attorney to move $175 from the pronouncements line into the phone consults line to address a shortfall. And this was as of the end of the year, right? The end, this was as the end of 22. Correct. Well, I'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion to approve transfer request 2022-53 submitted by our county attorney to move $1,432 from the uh, salary director line into the salaries associates line. To cover a uh, salary increase I'll for one of the associates. Okay. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Do you have the signature copies? Yep. Yes. It's just a, the letter would confuse me because it seemed to indicate that the delegation set the salary, but they didn't. They set the budget in there. But is that for this year or last year? That's for this year? Yes. But why are we doing this if the budget's not final? That's for this year? Yeah. That's for his salary this year. Why are we doing that? Sorry, I'm sorry. We should I don't have a problem with it, but why do we have to do that? Might I, can I just look at my letter? Because I need to mine with the... Please. Yeah, thank you. It's just transfer request 2022-53, but why? This isn't changing last year's. The last sentence says, we neglected to request this transfer prior to the end of the year. Apologize for failing to do so. So this is for last year? Yeah. Yes, it, lo it looks like for the first quarter of 2022, he was paid okay. X yeah. amount, and then the budget passed, and it wasn't adjusted. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay. So, so it is corrected in yeah. the new budget. So is this the one that's signed? No, I didn't sign anything yet. Okay, it's that one. Okay. Is, just don't want to get is this the one you signed? Yep. Yeah. Insurance transfer between NBC and the county. So postage was higher than budgeted. What what happened though with the insurance? 
Are you on the Mountain View one? Mm -hmm. Mountain View. Mountain View. Mountain View. Is there two Mountain View ones? I'm not, the first one I have is for dietary. I just don't see anything about posting. I think that's um, not Mountain View, Commissioner Platch. What is it at the top? It just says County and MVC facility transfers. Oh, oh that's facility. That's Bob. So this is uh, finance. Um, I'm taking them in order the way you stacked them. Right? Yes. So you have the right one in order. The, the one that looks like this. I have this one. Yes, so there should be four. And it's signed? By Bonnie. By Bonnie. Yes, so that's the next one. That's the one I'm looking at. It so says what happened, I don't understand what happened with the Mountain View. It's not clear to me. The Mountain View health insurance line was over budget, but the county one was under. So we're asking to take some of the health insurance money from Mountain View and apply it to the county health insurance. Okay. So we're taking it from Mountain View and applying it to the county. Correct. It was higher in the county than anticipated. Correct. And lower in Mountain View. Yes. By two hundred ten thousand mm dollars. Mhm. That seems like a lot. Am I wrong? That's a lot. And we're just finding out about it? I think more people participated on the county side due to the newly adopted plan than originally anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, and the county is, has a different cost share of 85.15 than the nursing home medical, so. But the Teamsters are where? And the Sheriff's Department is also included in the county special fees for 2022. In 2023, it moves to the Sheriff's Department. So in 22, it didn't? Right. We only switched it for a yeah. Correct. Okay. And the money's there. Mm -hmm. So that first transfer what number is that? 43. Motion to approve transfer request number 2022-43, moving $210,000 from the medical insurance line in Mountain View to the medical insurance line at the county. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. The rest of these are not yeah. nearly as much. No, 375. Due to the fact that fire is not too close. So now. What's the number for this one? 54. 54. Okay. And this is. Whose budget? This would be finance. This is the finance budget. Correct. To move $375 from office supplies to postage. Yes. Okay, motion, and it's 54? Correct. Motion to approve transfer request 2022-54 to move $375 from the county's office supplies line to the postage line. I will second. All those in favor say aye. 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 What's the next one? The next number is uh, 55. And, and whose budget is that? This that? is finance. Isn't it? And that's actually, I think it's the convention. 4110, what is Oh, this is the convention. Convention budget. Yeah. Okay. okay. And this is because they spent more on office supplies than they did on advertising. Correct. I'd like to make a motion that we move $26. What number is this? Uh, 55. 55. Pursuant to request number 2022-55 to move $26 from the convention's advertising line to the office supplies line, to their office supplies line. 
All over yes. I have a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so uh, what's going on in this one? This is dental insurance. I don't understand. It says that we're transferring sixteen thousand, but this is thirty-three thousand. Why is that? Could we could we ask that the third letter be reconciled with the transfer request before we approve this one? Yeah. Oh well. No, she's saying that any unused benefit to be transferred. I don't transferred care. It just it just. Benefit. She should. The letter needs to be reconciled with it. So you'd like that last paragraph corrected before it goes to the executive I'd like committee. To, I'd like the numbers to match with what we're doing. I understand unused benefits, but I don't know what those are. You see the problem that I'm having? Yeah, but I'm not as smart as you. I don't think it's. No, what you're saying is I'm not as smart as you. No. You just didn't I'm say saying that. I don't want to sit here and the delegation is going to ask that question. Because it's a valid question. Well, right? Then she's there to answer it. It needs to match. Okay. So you're okay, if I might, you're okay with the transfer yeah. because it matches, but you'd like the letter corrected before it goes to the executive committee. I'd like the letter corrected before I vote on it this time. Is there a way to do that? Well, let's vote on the other three at least. I did. We did. Oh, you did. Okay. So, that's so, so that's the last one. Okay. It's just that when we vote on it and then in the past, sometimes the letter doesn't get corrected. Is there a way to do that? No, yeah, she's downstairs. We have the technology. I don't mean to be uh, difficult, but we have the technology. We'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, we can go do the rest of them. Yep. What's the next one? So I'm going to set that one aside. There. There's a lot more. The next one I have is the one for human resources line item transfers. It's and number forty-four. These are items that are out of the department's control. Adjustments for accruals, payroll, taxes, benefits, and expenses, as well as inventory and prepaid items, have created the need to complete line item transfers for specific line items. Um, so advertising is the big one. Now, salary is just a big one. What's the number on that? 44. Okay. Oh, they're here? Frank said you wanted to bring some of these up here. Oh. Well, we're going to bring enough up for all the delegation, but... I'd like to yep. make a motion to approve line item transfer request number 2022-44. $1,281 out of the HR overtime line, $2,128 out of the HR retirement line, $1,411 out of the HR recruit and retention line, and $1,161 out of the HR criminal records line to be distributed as follows. $4,987 into the HR salary line, $4 into the HR dues and licenses line, and $990 into the HR advertising line. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Is that signature one for
I'm going to be up for a second. You can read the next one. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll set this on your chair. Just on my chair. The signed lost, version. So it doesn't get lost. I just lost corn. Are you going to? No, she's here. No, I'm just right here. She can wander about if she wants. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know where she was going. She's in the room. As long as she's in the room, we have a quarrel. Maybe we should recess. I wanted to bring a dog today. My wife wouldn't let me. And then, you want me to Thank you, Representative McCarthy. Did he hear me? No. <laughs> hey, Frank. Thank you. Okay. Oh, because they went over an archival paper in the registry. Which so one? this is an important one. Um, Which, what are you doing now? Registry? I'm doing, yeah, the registry. What is the number? I'm sorry, I was not there yet. Um, Registry of Deeds is number 45. Okay, this is important because, you know, the archival paper, if they went over to that. So we're, um, I'd like to make a motion to approve line item transfer request number 2022-45. 20, uh, and this is from the uh, registry uh, to move $3,634 from the contracted equipment line and put it into the archival paper line to make up a shortfall in the archival paper line. Okay, I will second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Signature cup. Signature cup. Yeah. Doesn't feel like this is getting any smaller at all. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just take the first one. Yeah. Next one is this one. Can I give you this one? Yeah. I'm just making a pile here, Melissa. So thank you. This is from uh, IT. And it's to cover a shortfall in the uh, uh, checkmate payroll service line. Okay. It was more expensive than anticipated. Uh, and what number is this, Melissa? This is 46. I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve line item transfer request number 46 uh, from our IT department. And this is to move $4,621 out of the licensing line and $9,676 out of the supplies and repairs line and put it all into the countywide contracts line to cover a shortfall in our in cost for checkmate payroll services. A second. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Did you say aye? I said aye. This one's pretty straightforward. It's just okay. 
just look for some additional them, items needed. Transfer two hundred twenty one dollars needed for uniforms and additional replacement shirts needed, and eighteen oh one needed for equipment repair on the walk-in sandwich. Yeah. What's the number on the first one, Melissa? The dietary. Uh, Forty seven. Forty seven. And this looks like a detailed explanation. So. Forty seven. So request number, I'd like to make a motion to approve line item transfer request number 2022-47, uh, submitted by the Mountain View Dietary Department, and this is to move $3,740 out of the food line and put $1,718 into supplies, $221 into uniforms, and $1,801 into equipment to cover shortfalls in those lines. Okay. I will second. All those in favor? Aye. I was in the other MBC one, so I didn't, oh. I didn't even have a chance. It there. looks like there's a lot of detail, too. I mean, it, it, he did a nice job on that one. I think. I don't think there's an issue. I just didn't yeah. want to. Yep. Okay. So it would just okay. be Matthew and I on that one. What's the next one? It's from Mountain View Nursing. And this is to transfer $19,253 needed for overtime due to staffing issues. Transfer of $29,000 needed for agency costs. And to cover, and two thousand one hundred ten dollars needed for salaries, medical records due to employee that works in multiple departments. Okay. That's your motion. Oh, what's the number no, on no, that no. one? No, no, no. I was just reading the oh. explanation. What's the number on that one? I'm so sorry. Um, let's see. We did forty-seven. Now we're doing the overtime one. It's forty-eight. Okay. Um, are you ready for the motion? Yep. I'd like to make a motion to approve line item transfer request number 2022-48 to move $50,366 from the Mountain View nursing line, salaries line, nursing salaries line for MNA and LNAs, and to uh, distribute it as follows. $19,253 into the overtime line uh, for the same department, $2,110 into the salaries records line, and $29,003 into the agency staff line. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. okay, the next one. Transfer forty-eight dollars for postage. Transfer thirty-one thousand for MQIC, as this is based on revenue. Oh. We see, we see more MQIC for revenue. Twenty dollars needed for telephone. Oh, so the MQIC is a wash because the expense. The revenue is greater, but the expenses are greater. Um, number, Melissa? For this one is 49. 49. Okay, so motion to approve, approve line item transfer request number 2022-49 to move $31,577 out of the work, workers' comp line in the Mountain View Administration Department and to distribute it as follows um, in the same department. $48 to the postage line, $31,509 to the MQIP bed tax line, and $20 to the telephone line. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 And I would point out that that's a wash. Okay. Our bed tax is greater because we, we had more revenue. Any number 
we did, uh, this is 49, right? 49. Is that right there? Yes. This yep. seems The last one was 49. Oh. So this is 50? I'm sorry, what is the amount on this one? $4,167. Yes, correct. It's 50. 50. Thank you. Okay. Motion to approve line item transfer request 2022-50. And this is uh, to, in the uh, Mountain View Special Services Department to move $4,167 out of the occupational therapy skilled line and put it into the occupational therapy part. Part B line. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 The next one is 51. Oh, this is too straightforward, too. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve line item transfer request 2022-51 submitted by the Mountain View Environmental Services Department, and it is to move, and this is, again, within the same department, um, $4,073 out of the electricity line and distribute as follows. $2,721 into the supplies line, $488 into the vehicle expense line and eight hundred sixty four dollars into the building repair line. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, do you have signatures for that? Yep, I think she does. Signature copies. Oh. Okay. Motion to approve line item transfer. So now, this is the one for 2023. We're not going to do this one unless if they can change that budget today. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm sure I didn't sign the ones I didn't vote on. But okay. I signed the rest. Okay. That's good. Cool. The fund corrections are for 2023. For the 2023 budget, and that's not final, is it? They do this. They can change that today, so they can just yeah. fix that by amending the budget. Yeah. Why don't we just let them do that? It's just not done. So we're done, right? Yeah. Um, if I might. Except for this last one from yes. Mountain View. I have the signature copies if you'd like to sign. You approve the first three of those if you'd I like did. to sign we did. those. We all did. And I'm waiting for a response on the fourth one. So here's the signature okay. copies for the. Those. If they could just make the numbers match on the explanation. Okay. And so it's clear to me. Yep. <clears throat> Those are the, they approved the first three of those, so I would need signature, and we're waiting on an answer on the fourth one in that stack. Executive Committee will meet today? They're scheduled, yep, after the delegation, yes. So long as we have a quorum. Just the first three, I think she said? Yes. Oh, 
I have all these. Um, well, where do I have? Where's all the ones that are going to be? These have to be sewn. They're originals we voted on, but signatures are missing. I should have put these um, here. Yeah. Right here. I have a pile for those. How's that annual report look? Pretty mm -hmm. good? motion to, uh, and this is for special fees, but this is um, for the county admin. I mean, this is for our budget. So last year we had a special fees budget. We don't have that anymore okay. for 2023. But it was 2022. This yeah. is, okay. Yeah. So, that was so the department is 4199 That's us. Uh, motion to move $33,104 out of the dental insurance line and put it and distribute it as follows. $15,954 to wages, $876 to Social Security, $205 to Medicare, and $16,069 to deductible benefit for a total of $33,104. Um, I'm not sure you can. I'll second. And, and All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Just to clarify, those are short-term disability, wages, social security, and medical payments. I guess they weren't anticipated because we don't know who's going to be short term disabled. So you are signing it while you have it? Am I signing this copy? Or? Yeah, I think so. No, this is my copy. This wasn't the signature. Do we copy. have a new copy? There was. It wasn't the signature copy. It was in the it's in the packet with the four, the three on top that you'd already signed, and then there was one. I gave those back. Sorry. I thought you were going to do a new one. I think I have it here. You don't put it. We need the new letter, though, attached to it, right? Correct. Can I have that letter back attached to it or however you want? <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to just put it on top of Please. Okay. Yeah. Or if it's confusing. Okay. Yes, very confusing. That yeah, needs so, so, so many. We need to find these here, too. Okay, let's keep them straight, though. minutes that we voted on but for some reason signatures are missing.
Anything else? Um, we're not going to do all these policies today. We I can't. Do no. no. The HR director asked that you hold those until next week, the personnel ones. But we could yeah. do this one? Yep. Yeah. Let's go back to the list. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, I guess we could go to, the only one we're going to do today is the public comment one, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, Matthew, did you have a chance or Kim to read all the changes that Matthew put it on here? I did. You know, I can't even read it. It's so tiny. No. <laughs> That's okay. I'm sorry. I have a... <laughs> yeah. I was there when you, when you made them, so I can kind of read it. Um, this isn't cast in stone, so I would welcome input from both of you on this. All right, Madam Chairman, you have a comment? You certainly may. So, as the red marks from Commissioner Platch indicate, we would go back to having two public comment sections. Why are we having two? No, I, I don't. It's a discretion. I, I don't even think we should give them that option. We have so little to put it on twice makes no sense yeah. to me. I, it seems that the board's wishes are to have it put it back at the beginning. So I say put it back at the beginning, but why are we holding a second one at the yeah. end? I don't think we need a second one at the end. Doesn't seem so. to be appropriate. So just to have one at the beginning. Yep. Yep. I'm axing out the thing about the second one at the end. I'm not happy. I'm fine with that. I don't know why we need to. No, and if there's a question, we can always, it's, you know, we can make an exception if there's someone that actually has it. Or maybe if there's but. too many people at the beginning that could to speak at the beginning, we could let them wait till the end. But the point of public comment in our meetings, as I understand it, is to, is to make the public's feelings about things we're doing known. So if you look at the comments and responses from all of the other counties, Belknap has no policy. They do it at the end of their meeting. Grafton has no policy. Hillsboro um, has a public comment portion, but it's limited to agenda items. Most of them are limited to agenda items. Um, Hillsboro, Strafford, um, I know they're all kind of all over the place. Well, I, do, I think that there's a consensus. Most, a lot of them are restricting it to the agenda. Um, there's only one that county that has it at the beginning without restriction, and that's Coos, um, Sullivan, Rockingham. They all do it at the end of the meeting. As does Belknap. Um, and the other two that do allow it at the beginning of their meeting, it's restricted to agenda items only. A lot of the feedback seems to be that if someone wants to address something that's not on the agenda, we're still happy to have the public comment, but they should write in and be put on the agenda so that the topic can be fully flushed out um, and be put on the agenda for our multiple points of view to be taken into account. We don't allow for that. We just allow it to be on any topic, even something unrelated to us. It's there's no rule for that. And I just I, I'm not gonna stand in the way of what the board wants to do. I'm just putting it on the record that that's we pulled the other counties and that's not what they're doing. That the citizens of yeah. Carroll County are getting some additional benefit that you wouldn't get in any other county. So that I think the correct. media has been somewhat unfair in their criticisms of us saying that we're trying to limit the people's viewpoint and their ability to speak. We're clearly not. And in Carroll County, you're given more chance to speak unfettered about any topic than in any of the other counties, with the exception of probably Merrimack, because they didn't respond. So they could have a similar policy to us, but they didn't respond to the comments that or our correct. request for comments. I believe that's an accurate observation. We're going farther than the other counties in doing it. Not all the other counties. A few. Yes. That is also an accurate. Yeah, not every other county. Well, what I other mean, county gives 
them the right to speak at the beginning, not... I nope. source, source, source. I, don't, I don't have that list with me. Um, you have Let's it, put it, th what I would say, if I may, Madam Chair. Yes. What I would say is, by adopting this policy, we will be the only county with an actual policy of allowing people to speak at the beginning of a meeting on any topic they want. Subject to limitations, which, you know, we're not going to, you know, we're allowing a comment period of limited to how many minutes? 15, is it? Minutes? Yeah. We, we, so everyone could, you know, a speaker could talk for three minutes on any topic they want. We would listen. It would be non-interactive. No policy engages in an interactive, or no county engages in an interactive comment period. And so I think that seems to be, there's been a lot of concern among constituents. There's a lot of people signed the petition that uh, Mr. Kane was taking around. And, and so there seems to be an interest in that in the county. And I don't have a problem on knowing it. We will be, though, in adopting this, we're doing something that no other county does. No other county has an actual policy going this far. We've all, this it's county all, has always had a policy. Yes. And so, and we're, so we're not deviating. The only thing we're deviating from is not having one in the community. But the chair always has discretion to do right. anything. There. So. Yeah. We can always, as a board, exercise discretion to go further. So what is it that you want to change on this? Take, well, you're going to take out the second, the second sentence talking about the second period. No one ever uses that anymore. No one, no one ever waits to see our whole meeting and then talks after. So. And if there's someone here, we can. We can always allow it. We're flexible. And I think people will be happy by letting them talk. So. I think this is fine. We're keeping the stuff that people have to be polite, no profanity. They can't, you know, throw things at us. Okay. Would you like to make a motion that we will accept this with that? Taken if it's, if, you know, oh. if it's okay. Okay. Motion to approve the revised, uh, and, and, you know, approve and adopt this revised public comment policy with the one change we discussed about taking out the, the sentence because it's unnecessary about the second comment period. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 So you will change that, Melissa? Can I get a clean copy for you to sign later today? Yes. Is that okay? That's okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so I guess, are we going into the you know, public? Well, do you want to do pub our public comment session for this, for today? We haven't done that. Okay, we before could. Before we go into non-public? Because then, then we're all done after that. Right. Okay. So you can finalize this, we can sign it? Yes, I will. Thanks. Can we have any public comment? Yes, uh, Chair. I watched the meeting last week, and I knew Matt was disappointed when uh, I wasn't here early to bring the papers. <laughs> so there's I the papers for you. Well, I'm giving it. I, there's only two that I bought because, you know, we're on a fixed income. But I would also like to hand a letter that I'd like a copy of those minutes that you didn't seal. Uh, and... There's a signed letter in 72. I appreciate you putting it back on the beginning of the meeting. I think Carroll County public deserves that, and I think you people as commissioners should want to hear what the public says, says at your meetings. Uh, there's not a lot of people that come here, as you can see, and uh, I think you'd welcome comments. And I hope... I And I hope that you say they could put it in writing. This all took place because somebody asked to be put on the agenda, and this board didn't put them on the agenda, and that's why it came forward to the public comment. Mm -hmm. And also, I'd like to ask if the agenda could be put on the website a little bit early. It wasn't on until like 7 a.m. this morning. I had already left by 5 o'clock, so I could come and spend a few hours here. and. You know, you commented on that a couple of weeks ago, and you said that it was said that it was over the weekend on Monday. As of last night, it wasn't on. As of 5.30 this morning, it wasn't on. 
when I checked my phone a little after 7 it was today, but, you know, that would be helpful. And last week I had to request a copy on Wednesday night for the Thursday meeting. We'll make sure. As soon as okay. Has it done. okay. Okay. We'll, we'll do our best setting a bright line and we'll Madam Chair. Like this week, there's a reason why it didn't work. We had deadlines for grants that had to be in, and so the exact court of coordinator has to do those. And in addition, we moved our meeting from Thursday to Friday, so everybody's normal routine that they would have done in the finance office was off. I think the point is we do our best to get the agenda on the website as soon as possible, and our comments, public comment is not limited to the agenda, even though most some of the other counties do limit to the agenda. The response from the public was they didn't want it limited, so I'm not understanding what the point of having the agenda is if the public comment can be about anything. We do our best to get the agenda on as quickly as we can, but to set a bright line rule is hard for our staff to meet when other considerations can come up. A, a staff member or another department head may need to pull that staff member away to do something for the county. I, we get it on the website as soon as we can. It, it's always good to have, it, you know, last week I noticed that we were going to break for a little over an hour. That's why I came a little late, plus we had the snow. And then, you know, I said, you know, maybe I better go because something may happen that they don't. And good thing I had done. But, you know, that's why the agenda is important. Not necessarily to speak, but at least if they can see something on it, they could say, oh, geez, I'd like to go and comment on that. Versus the monitor. As soon as we possibly can. So what I'm saying is sometimes our one employee who does this, who's responsible for that, may be sick on a day. So if we tell you, sir, that we're going to put it on there every Monday and then she's sick on a Monday, you're going to come in and you're going to be upset with the board that it didn't get on there on Monday. What I'm saying is we'll make a pledge to the public to put it on the website as soon as we practically can, keeping in mind that one person is responsible for the agenda and they may have something else going on or a week may not come up correctly. For instance, as a commissioner, I've received less than 24 hours notice of a meeting before. Well, how is there the ability to get agenda on when even the commissioner didn't know that the meeting was on in less than 24 hours? So well, that's, that would be my comment about a strict deadline time of when we'll put it on. I'm asking for a strict deadline. I'm asking if it's on there, you know, just so it could be reviewed. Sometimes I've looked at the web page and it's not on there, but if I see a post by Ed here posting on his Facebook to watch the meeting, there's an agenda on there. But it's not on the Carroll County website. And uh, it just makes it a little bit easier if we could review it and see what it is. You know, I'd like to talk on your social media policy. Uh, you know, I had sent an email months ago on something on the social media, and I haven't heard from any of you three on that. Well, we're not. Just because you write in doesn't mean that there'll be a response. I mean, that's not how this, that's not how public comment is supposed to work. It's not supposed but to be they, interactive. If somebody sends an email requesting, I would expect some type of response. We can't Thank respond, you. sir, individually, because the board can't engage in communication. It has to be in a meeting if we're going to respond. Madam Chair. No. Uh, Anything else for you, sir? No, because they'd like to have a copy of those minutes if they Yeah, I think Melissa will hit those for you. Yep. Thank you. Okay. My name is Madam Chair. Is email? Email is okay for email you? Email is fine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I guess we will go into non-public at this point. Okay. Would you like to read it from the non-public? If you so wish, Madam Chair. Yes. My motion to go into round public under RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, subsections A and C. We're otherwise done after the non public, right? Yeah. Okay. Second, Matthew? Second. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Tassari? Aye. Commissioner McCarthy? Aye. Commissioner Fletch? Aye. 1057. Can you just repeat that again? Motion to come out of non-public and seal the minutes. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Twelve votes. I make a motion. I make a motion that on the Hale, we're revisiting Hales. On Hales budget, there was a request for a line to increase the telephone and um, mileage. mileage line. 
It's currently at 500 to 800, making the new total for the Hales budget $288,190. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll take, uh, I guess we're going to go into recess now. To the call of the chair. 1210.